The Dassault Rafale stands as the backbone of France's air and naval power, a multi-role fighter jet renowned for its omni-role capabilities, encompassing air superiority, ground attack, reconnaissance, and nuclear deterrence. As of March 2025, the French Rafale fleet is experiencing a transformative phase, driven by ambitious procurement plans, accelerated deliveries, and evolving operational roles, all set against the backdrop of heightened global tensions and a strategic push for European defense autonomy. With a current fleet of 140 aircraft, 94 operated by the French Air and Space Force, across single-seat Rafale C and two-seat Rafale B variants, 41 carrier-capable Rafale M jets with the French Navy, and five test aircraft, the Rafale is poised for significant growth. The 2024 to 2030 military programming law targets a fleet of 178 by 2030, with plans to reach 225 by 2035, incorporating advanced F4 and F5 standards. This expansion reflects not only France's military priorities, but also Dassault Aviation's broader ambition to cement the Rafale's place in Europe global markets, as articulated by CEO Eric Trappier in a March 23, 2025, interview with Journal du Dimanche, where he signaled intent to pitch the jet to Portugal amid shifting regional defense dynamics. Procurement of the Rafale has been methodical yet aggressive, balancing domestic needs with export success. Since 1993, France has ordered 234 Rafales across five tranches, with the latest, Tranche 5, comprising 42 jets ordered in December 2023 for 5.5 billion euros, slated for delivery between 2027 and 2032 in the F4 standard, upgradable to F5. This order follows a 2021 purchase of 12 jets to offset sales to Greece, underscoring France's commitment to maintaining fleet strength despite export commitments. A pivotal moment came on March 18, 2025, when President Emmanuel Macron announced plans for roughly 40 additional Rafales to form two nuclear-armed squadrons at luxeuil les bains by 2035, reinforcing France's nuclear deterrence with the forthcoming ASN-4G hypersonic missile, a 1.5 billion euros base upgrade accompanies this move. Production is ramping up to meet this demand, with Dassault boosting output from two jets per month in 2023 to three in 2025, targeting four by 2028 to 2029, and potentially five thereafter, contingent on supply chain coordination among 400 partner firms, as Trappier noted. This surge aligns with Macron's vision of a war economy responding to Russian threats and supporting a robust defense industry poised for both national and international growth. Deliveries have regained momentum after a 2018 to 2022 export focus, with Tranche 4's remaining 60 jets resuming in December 2022 with the F3R standard B3359. In 2023, 13 jets were delivered, followed by 14 in 2024, including the 26th F4.1 jet in December, leaving 13 due by end 2025 and one testbed in 2026. Dassault's 2024 total of 21 deliveries, including exports, reflects a backlog of 220 aircraft, 56 for France, 164 abroad, a testament to its production capacity despite past supply chain hiccups that trimmed 2023's target from 15 to 13. The Rafale's roles remain diverse and adaptable, leveraging its three variants. The Rafale C and B for the AAE excel in air superiority with Meteor and Mica missiles, ground attack with ASM bombs, and nuclear strikes with the ASMPA while the Navy's Rafale M adds carrier-based operations, including anti-ship strikes with the Exocet AM-39. The F-4 standard, qualified in 2023, enhances connectivity with drones and allies, while F-5, eyed for the 2030s, will deepen this integration alongside a new Thales RBE-2XG radar, ensuring the Rafale's evolution toward the future combat air system by 2040 to 2045. Deployments span France and beyond, with seven AAE squadrons at bases like Saint-Dizier and Mont-de-Marsan, three Navy flotilles at Landivisio and aboard the Charles de Gaulle, and a new squadron, 1-5th Vendée, 
activated at Orange Caritat in July 2024. Overseas, Escadron 17 Provence at Al Dafra, UAE, anchors Middle East operations, while exercises like Pegase 23 in the Pacific showcase global reach. Recent operations highlight the Rafale's combat pedigree. Since 2014, Operation Shamal has seen Rafale's strike Islamic State targets in Iraq and Syria, while Northern Edge 2023 in Guam tested minimal logistics deployment with allies. The Rafale's combat experience, Afghanistan, Libya, Mali, and maritime missions demonstrates its reliability with a reported 94% availability rate during Navy deployments. Modernization continues apace with F4.1, achieving operational capability in 2024, and retrofits underway fleet-wide, positioning the Rafale as a bridge between current needs and future warfare. Comparatively, the Rafale faces stiff competition from regional peers like the Lockheed Martin F-35, Eurofighter Typhoon, and Saab Gripen, each vying for European and global contracts. The F-35, with over 1,130 delivered and 4,141 planned across 19 nations, dominates in stealth and sensor fusion. Its AN-APG-81 ASA radar and distributed aperture system offering unparalleled situational awareness. Its stealth design, internal weapons bays, and radar absorbent coatings excels in first strike missions, though its 80 to $100 million unit cost and complex logistics via the Odin system have sparked reliability concerns, with mission-capable rates lagging behind the Rafales. Portugal's reassessment of its F-35-bound F-16 replacement, as noted by Defense Minister Nuno Mello in 2025, reflects these doubts, amplified by U.S. political unpredictability, opening a door for the Rafale, which Trappier positions as a NATO interoperable alternative at 68 to 78 million euros per jet with lower maintenance costs. The Eurofighter Typhoon, a collaborative effort among the UK, Germany, Italy, and Spain, mirrors the Rafale's multi-role flexibility but lacks nuclear capability and carrier variants, limiting its scope compared to France's unified design born from its 1985 exit from the European Fighter Aircraft Program. With a top speed of Mach 2 and the Captor E radar, the Typhoon excels in air superiority, yet its 90 to 100 million euros price tag and fragmented upgrade path split among partner nations contrast with the Rafale's streamlined modularity, including the Spectra Electronic Warfare Suite and Super Cruise at Mach 1.4. The Saab Gripen, Sweden's cost-effective contender at 50 to 60 million euros, offers agility and short takeoff capability, but its lighter payload, 6,000 kilograms versus Rafale's 9,500 kilograms, and single-engine design seed ground to the Rafale's twin-engine robustness and broader mission profile particularly in nuclear and naval roles. Geopolitically, the Rafale's 507 orders across nine nations, including recent wins in India, Indonesia, and the UAE, and 18 billion euros in 2024 exports underscore its market traction, bolstered by Trappier's optimism about India's potential for a dedicated production line. The F-35's vast order book, while impressive, ties buyers to U.S. oversight, a sticking point for nations like Canada and Portugal wary of dependency, as Trappier observed. The Rafale's edge lies in its operational autonomy, rapid upgrade cycles, and combat-proven versatility, contrasting with the F-35's stealth-centric approach and the Typhoon's coalition-driven compromises. For Portugal and others, the choice hinges on priorities, stealth and coalition integration, cost and agility, or multi-role independence, with France's jet offering a compelling middle ground as Europe rethinks its defense posture in an uncertain world.